laughing at? You know, like the way I see your face, like it looks as if you're so excited, the way you're smiling. The first time I saw you, you're not smiling too much. You're like, what am I getting myself into? You're not really sure about today. <laughs> because I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm the happiest. Oh, wow. I've been here for three months. Wow. Yeah. How happy are you? So happy. I'm so happy to see you. You know, you know, do, do you guys remember her? Her name is what? It's love migrate. Today I'm not gonna say it's love and migrate. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What? You've been in Ghana for three months. Yeah. What have you been eating? Eating? Yeah. A little bit of everything. Like? Red red. Hey. What? Jollof. Oh, okay. Rice balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> Oh God! Did, did, did you eat some fufu? Soup. You know what? I did not eat fufu. Oh, yes. I wasn't. I'm not ready for it. It does not. It, it's my favorite. No, I had to like calm down. It was just too much. I was just <laughs> loving it. I like plumped up and everything. <laughs> and um, you know, my next question. What? It's love. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself some Ghanaian chocolate? Wow. Just wow. wow. <laughs> No, no, no. Wow. You, 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 need, you need to practice what you preach. Oh, my name is It's Love My Great. You travel to eat and, you know, love people. You know, like, right. wherever I go, I try to fall in love. No, I mean, I don't fall in love with everybody, but <laughs> so I don't want to put myself <laughs> into trouble. But anyway, did, did you find any Ghanaian chocolate? Yes, you are the Ghanaian. Oh no 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 no! I no. see Ghanaian no. chocolate right here, uh, 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 right there. No no no, that's not what <laughs> I mean. No no, everywhere. that's not what I mean. Like, um, did you find yourself a permanent Ghanaian chocolate? <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> not even one. No. Nope. Oh, I don't think you really enjoy Ghana that much. But anyway, let's let's go. <laughs> Today's you the last day in Ghana. So funny. It is, it is. But I'll be back. You'll be back. Yep. You're migrating. I am. Oh, wow. But Ghana is like the first home. You know, I've learned so much here. I've been meeting so many people. Oh. I even got an opportunity to secure land, you know, save land. Like a lot of opportunities have op opened up for me. So I'm just, I'm just in awe of this experience. I actually, I was only passing through at first. And so then you, like, your, your oh, visa has been expired. Hmm? Your visa expired. Oh, yeah. You saw that? I saw that. You're lucky you're not deported. <laughs> Because I saw you, I saw you, you're like, um, I'm going to the immigration. I was like, oh, thank God, they're not going to deport my sister. I was so worried about that yeah. because I was 30 days late. And can you imagine if you're in America, if you go back, you know, I don't think that they would be as merciful so you think at all. Ghana is home now. Um, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I'm just going away to, you know, handle some business, but I'll definitely be back. Like, I'm on a schedule. Like, I'll be back. You, you told me you're going to stay in Africa for good. Yep. That's what you told me. Yeah, Migrating well, to I back told to... you the truth. Yeah. I'm so, staying on. So where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you... <laughs> when is this video going to post? Tonight. <laughs> I'm going. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure? Very sure. You want me to tell the audience? No, you I'm have going. to let them know. Where are you going? You're posting this tonight. Tonight. Okay. I'm going to Egypt. Egypt. Yes. See? I got a secret out. I know most of you are asking me, where is she going? In your comment yeah. section, did you see that? There's a lot of people. A lot who of don't people want to know. Them, but yeah. hey, it's good that I brought a secret out. You know, I'm always yeah, here to share yeah. a secret with you. And trust me, I'm going to so many other countries. Okay. I'm just going. It's just I have a plan as yeah. to how I want to do things because I really want to do some major projects here. But um, I just have to secure funds and, and just get out there. And also being here has been very spiritual for me. Yes, you know, so going to Egypt is not just not about going to mosques or anything like that. I'm actually interested in the root of ancient Kemet, you know, um, just the origins of it. That's what I'm actually mostly interested in. So I'm just going to go hang out, see what happens. If I don't like it, I'll leave, you know, go somewhere else. So. Do you know that you've been to so many places in Ghana that I've never been to? Really? Oh, like, I'm oh, so proud of you. Thank you. you. I'm so proud. Like, I saw you in the northern region. I was like, oh, my God. What am I going to get there? But hey, I promise you guys, when I'm going to go to the Northern region, maybe yeah. anytime soon. But I want to know your experience in Ghana, traveling within Ghana so far. How will you describe your experience in Ghana? My experience in Ghana has been extremely medicinal. It has been very informative. Um, it has been, it has surpassed all of my expectations, actually. Wow. Um, like I said, I, I had no plans on staying. Okay. I brought my twin daughters at first, and it was just kind of like, well, we're just passing through. But I had no idea that I would gather so many trusted friends and just family mainly, 
you know, even you, including you, you know, oh, how hospitable part of the family. you've been. No, 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 it's okay. Let me ha- get a yeah, hug before you continue. Oh. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, it has been, I, I just can't believe it. Like, we are cousins, you know, yeah. and a person would have to actually come and not be afraid to merge with Ghanaians, you know. So I definitely promote that. Don't come and go into your own little cubby of Western I would say come and merge with the people, get to know them. Don't be afraid to greet them. Greetings are very important here. And um, just don't be afraid to open up and be humble about the experience because they're very gentle, very humble people, very strong. Don't get it twisted because I've seen the military and the SWAT team. Woo! It was like gorillas. I was like, what? what? Yeah, seriously. I, I know I know it's on a tangent. But um, there was a time where I saw the SWAT team. They were doing something, and I was like, wow. Because Ghanaian men, to me, are so mild-tempered. So when I saw that, I was like, wow, these are like African kings. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> are we, are we going to see your daughters in Ghana anytime soon? I don't know. Maybe next summer. Maybe next summer. Next summer. Yeah, I would really hope so. Next summer, yeah. What That's is your favorite. favorite place that you've visited in Ghana? I'm thinking. I don't think that there's a favorite wow. place. Yeah because it's so diverse the people are so different okay you know there's different cultures there's different languages there's just different vibes within different regions so i can't say oh this is my favorite i think that's just too 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 biased i would never say like this country is better than this or this or that they're all just different and beautiful and that's why i love it because of the differences because i've been watching your channel and I saw that you actually enjoyed most of your time in Ghana in the North. Yeah. So I felt like, no, I think you, you love the North. That's what well, I actually asked you this question. Well, yes, I do love the North uh-huh. because I have people that I can go home to like a family. Okay. But I love all of Ghana. But if I'm going to settle somewhere and establish a home, I would establish it there because the people are very honest there. They don't have a big, a, they don't have a great deal of corruption. Let's just put it like that. So I trust the vibe there right. you know and considering that i am new coming in i need people that i could trust okay and so they've proven to be those people and they have a very stout spiritual wow. foundation there you wow. know so people <laughs> people don't cross each other and we yeah. we kind of all know why right <laughs> you know like, we talking about the dagomba they don't, yeah, they don't it's they, very they don't rare joke, for them yeah? to cross they one another joke. because if you cross someone there Something someone's gonna be dealt with then, 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 and also like if you love that place then you need to go to the Volta region of ghana I it's am. It's kind of similar. Like I, it, I want to. Yeah. I want to. Yep, I want to go to the Volta. That was actually the first place that I wanted to go, but it didn't pan out. So, But eventually when I come back, there's plenty of other places like Takoradi. Okay. I, that's where you're from? That's where I'm from. You didn't I go there. I want to go there. Yeah. That's so sad. Because I, went, I only went to Elmina. So okay. anyways, I've been to all Kumasi and um, where else? Um, Nuningo and okay. where else? All over. I've been all over. Kofre Dua. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, yeah. I've been here, yeah, I've been yeah. here. Right? What is your impression about the year of return? I don't really have any big opinions. <laughs> I've listened to, I've listened to entirely too much Dr. Abadale Kambong. I've been following him for many years. Okay. He's very, very intelligent. He knows his stuff. So it's a lot of information that he's taught. And I've researched myself and have seen that. Maybe it's a little bit propaganda going on to get people to come and tour this place but I was on my way here before that before, the, before even learned I felt the connection before that so if the president needs to push this agenda to get people to come here for economic purposes why aren't the rest of the country doing it you know I mean let's just be honest let's do it why not if it's about money let's do it you know but as far as it being 400 years and all this I think it was a little longer according to Dr. Abadale but it's okay you know I'm not going to say that he's wrong for pushing this, that, or the other. Bottom line is, when you come here, you realize that we've just been lied to entirely regarding our, you know, our, um, what has happened in the past and how apparently Africans hated, uh, you know, like stuff like that, all of that, everything that we were raised with in the States, all of it was just a media, I was gonna say something, but I can't say <laughs> All of it was just, to prevent us from coming together so um here we are you know i would encourage anyone you know to come to see it for yourself so that no one else can dictate to you your reality you know or how your life pans out you would never know unless you come you can't listen to the media because they'll, they'll it'll prevent you from seeing the truth 
how warm and friendly these people are. And it's not just about warm and friendly. We're talking about true hospitality and people that actually know how to be a family and unity naturally without having to raise a flag. Yeah. You understand? People are just doing it. It's just natural. No matter what colonization did, people still held on to their natural, traditional ways of being, their humanity towards one another. You know what? I, I don't even want to ask you any question again because I think you said everything. You know, whatever <laughs> I wanted, whatever question I want to ask, you've already answered it. So, you know what? Before I let you go, um, I know there are a lot of people out there because most of my subscribers are, you know, diaspora. Your final message for them? My final message would be well, first of all, I want to thank you again for oh, wow. having the audacity to not be fearful and just kind of put yourself out there towards the world yeah. no matter what and to the diasporans you know with him doing this he brought so many africans my way because i'm part of the diaspora yeah. but you brought the africans my way and they actually stuck you know like you know stuck around to check me out and we're like friends wow. you know and they support me so i would say you will not know unless you come and experience it and when you do, you're going to thank yourself because you're going to breathe the air differently, the sun shines differently, the food, everything. Do not be afraid to come and just see for yourself and find your rhythm. You know, find your own rhythm. Do not let anyone else persuade you. If you feel it in your heart to come, come, no matter what country it is. You know, because there's over 54, right? About 57? 50, no, 55 now. 55. Yeah. So there's so many countries that you can explore. And we're not saying that Ghana is just like the all the, the only, end. Yeah. yeah, no, it's not that. This is just an introduction to the full spectrum of the African continent. Okay. So that's why we venture out. So what she's trying to say is that come and explore. And whatever you're exploring, make sure you eat something new. <laughs> and whenever you eat something new and you meet new people, try to show them love. And when you're tired of that country, try and migrate. That is why I always say, thank you. <laughs> it's love, migrate. migrate. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, I'm not going to say goodbye. Okay, anyway, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>